We are here at Ugandan High Commission and I would like to congratulate everyone. This is Ugandan Independence 54th year. Thank you very much. know why we are here just in case you don't know the reason I still would advise you to Google search and update yourselves but uh, at least according to the best reasons we are all here is to celebrate the 54 years Uganda has attained since it was birth on or it was born. I'm sorry, I listened a lot to Nigerians who say who birthed you. <laughs> so <laughs> I was born in their words. So Uganda was born on 9th October 1962. So the national celebrations happened yesterday. Without wasting time and uh, having our uh, dignitaries standing, I request that we sing the national anthem. And before that, I'll quickly take you through the program. And thereafter, we'll have uh, uh, a prayer and I request Dr. Reverend Kaziro to lead it. And thereafter, we'll have Ugan uh, after the anthems, both Uganda and East Africa. Then we have a word of greeting from our distinguished guests, uh, distinguished guests whom I'll be calling upon. And thereafter, we'll have welcoming remarks by our host, uh, Excellency Professor Joyce Chikafunda. And uh, we'll have uh, eats and drinks, and then we'll cut the cake. And then we'll open the dance, and then we'll see what follows thereafter. My colleagues, the 
the High Commissioner of Malawi, the Ambassador of South Sudan, the High Commissioner of Rwanda, the Deputy Secretary General of the Commonwealth, and the Acting Ambassador of Burundi, my fellow East Africans, brothers and sisters from Uganda, Amnyambo. At least that is much better than when the, the East African National Anthem was being sung. This Kiswahili was a bit of a challenge. But when the Uganda National Anthem was being sung, I was quite impressed by those who are singing of all shapes. That showed me that they are really, really, really Ugandan. Today is not mine to make remarks on. It is for Professor Joyce Kikafunda, but she has done it the African way that you greet the people. So let me not go too far, just to say, as East Africans, we are honored and privileged to join you this evening in celebrating your national day. We wish you the best. And may Almighty God richly bless Uganda and bless East Africa. I thank you. The High Commissioner of Uganda, Excellencies, Ambassadors and High Commissioners, East Africans who are here, we are just here to celebrate with you, to tell you Hongera, we are celebrating 54 years. As you know, Rwanda is very much part of Uganda and Uganda is very much part of Rwanda. So congratulations and do enjoy your day and your evening. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, the High Commissioner of Uganda, colleagues, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, as the Kenyan Ambassador said, this is not our day, but this is your day. And we are here merely to support you uh, on your national day. And I simply want to say congratulations on this very important day. National Day of Uganda. Thank you. I'm honored to speak this night uh, and uh, I want to wish you all the best on this occasion and I say Amahoro, peace will be with you. That is the, the greetings from Burundi. Thank you. Perhaps I should say first and foremost <laughs> I'm not the equal of the professor. I'm not a professor. I'm simply a mister. Otherwise, I think uh, I will only reiterate the points that have been made by my colleagues that this is a Uganda day, and I can only join them in congratulating you on this celebration. Thank you so much. Excellency Professor Chikafunda, Excellencies, all protocols observed. We are here to celebrate with you and um, one of the things we want to also celebrate is that even though we have borders that separate Uganda from Kenya, I want to reiterate the greetings from Kenya given to you by my High Commissioner, Excellency Amayo. I come from a place called Busia where they are celebrating today because there's Busia in Kenya and there's Busia in Uganda. So I know even at this time my relatives are enjoying their matoke. As I know we are going to celebrate with matoke here. I want to say Hongera sana and to all you proud Ugandans and friends, Wevare Nyo. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Isaac Kironde, all the way from London, and I want to wish all my fellow Ugandans a happy 54th Independence Anniversary. All the Ugandans and all the Ugandans friends, please, please enjoy our 54th Independence Day and let's go on and love it. I wish Uganda happy 54 independence. I congratulate all Ugandans wherever they are in diaspora and back home 
to ser for celebrating the 54th independence. And I thank our dear president, the HEO World Cup Term 7, for the peaceful country and all the happiness that he has given us and for us to be able to come here and celebrate our independence. I thank our dear ambassador, Joyce Chikafunda, for bringing us together. My name is Winnie Natege and I wish Uganda a happy 54th independence anniversary. We've had a great time, a lot of networking, a lot of knowing other countries, East Africa, Kenya, Tanzania, and it's been a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Happy Independence Day. Coming together here, meeting each other here, help us to know each other, people who didn't know others. It's been a great occasion. Yes. And it's uh, very uh, enjoyable. Yes. Uh, you know, plenty of uh, people to see uh, who we designed very well. Ambassadors in the Eastern Africa, not just East Africa, the wider Eastern Africa, my colleagues, my brothers and sisters, lords and baronesses, they are here present. Reverend, thank you. Although it's the Ugandan function, we took liberty to invite a few because of the size of our home, a few friends of Uganda. We thank you so much for coming. Because we didn't want to do it too much African, many of you didn't have a chance to talk, but we appreciate what you are doing, helping us. You know, some of you know more vernacular than I do, although you don't look brown. So we thank you so much. We not We'll have another chance when you will talk. Fellow Ugandans, I take this opportunity to welcome you all very warmly, Uganda House. I thank you very much for sparing time from your busy schedule to come and join me with my staff to celebrate our 54th Independence Anniversary. You are very welcome and please feel at home feel at home. If you are a Ugandan, this is your house. If you are not a Ugandan and you are here at this function, you are a friend of Uganda. So, in a way, you are a Ugandan. So, please feel at home. I congratulate you all. I congratulate us all for celebrating our 54th anniversary. Before I go far, let me read the president's message, independence message. He had a seven page speech, <laughs> but smart as he is, as a, a one paragraph message. So I'll read that. Uh, uh, the, the long speech will be mine. Now, this is the message from His Excellency. President Joel Kabutam Seven, President of the Republic of Uganda. Fellow Ugandans, on this 54th Independence Celebration, may we continue with love for self, country, and continent. Our security, economy, human resource, and infrastructure can now support our push for a middle income status. Do you hear that? Yeah. Yes. It is the duty of every citizen to walk this journey. You heard that? Yes. I salute you as the president. I salute you all and congratulate you on this auspicious occasion. Good stuff. So that is the message from His Excellency. Now I will read my speech. The theme for Uganda's 54th independence anniversary is protection of our independence through promotion of patriotism, unity, and hard work. 
And I think when you are in the UK and you talk of hard work, everybody knows what it means. This anniversary, like all previous anniversaries, give us an opportunity to look back and reflect where we have come from as a people since 1962. We are no longer very young. We are middle age. Where we, uh, where we came from as a people since 1962, where we are today, and where we are going. Fellow Ugandans and friends of Uganda, you will agree with me that we have come a long way through turmoil and self-destruction in the 70s and part of 80s, when the power of Africa was not shining when Uganda was dubbed the sick man of Africa. Yes. But thanks to the NRM government and the able leadership of President Yoel Kaguta Museveni and the will of God, we have, we have moved from recovery to growth and have become one of the fastest growing and most stable countries on the African continent. But a lot still remains to be done. Our Vision 2040 aspires to transform the country from poverty, peasantry, and low income to a prosperous upper middle income in 30 years or less, and we are talking of 9,500 US dollars per capita. This vision is being delivered through a series of five-year national development plans, the second of which was launched last year in June 2015. As our president always reminds us, there are several bottlenecks which have hindered our progress, as indeed they have done so for most of black Africa. These include, but are not limited to, ideological disorientation. When you start worrying which tribe somebody comes from, whether it's male or woman, uh, female, without really looking at the quality of work, then you are really not doing well. A weak state with an developed army, and a developed infrastructure, neglect of the private sector, fragmented markets, lack of industrialization, and that is very key, because when you lack industrialization, you don't add value to your products, you export raw materials, you are exporting money and labor, which should be left in the country. Poor attention to the service sector, and a developed agriculture. We always think agriculture is our backbone, but you go there, the growth of agriculture is only 3%. So what kind of backbone is that? And these are only a few of the bottlenecks. But the NRM government has done its best to reduce and where possible, overcome most of the above bottlenecks which has resulted in a number of positive effects. For example, the size of the GDP has increased substantially from 4 billion US dollars in 1986 to approximately 27 billion dollars to date. The population living under poverty was 56% in 04, but I'm happy to tell you that it is now 19%, less than 20%, surpassing the Millennium Development Goals. And there is hope, and it's not just the hope, it is anticipated that the poverty will be reduced to 10% 2017. That's next year. I think that is good news. We would like to upgrade we would like to upgrade ourselves to a level where we can partner in development with our developed neighbors, with, our develop, with the developed world, so that we can exploit our potential and trade with them rather than always expecting aid. We want trade, not aid, except in emergencies. 
To this end, all missions are mandated to all missions of Uganda abroad are mandated to promote commercial and economic diplomacy. It is no longer the old diplomacy of whining and dining. We don't sleep trying to look for partners. So that is the commercial and economic diplomacy where we are judged as embassies. And I'm happy to tell you that your embassy, our mission in London for two consecutive years, 2014 and 2015, has been number two among the embassies of Uganda abroad. So that is because of your support, that is because all of you are supporting us. So increasing the number of, so this commercial diplomacy includes attracting FDI to our country, Uganda, increasing the number of tourists. That's when I was so happy when Mr. Mutabazi says he's going to do something about that window. Everyone who knows our mission knows that we have a strategic window looking at the famous Trafalgar Square. I don't know how many tourists a day pass by that window from Trafalgar Square going to the palace. But what they, do they see? An old wooden gorilla. They eat there. It's not correct. So thank you so much from Tawazi. If that window was really marketing Uganda as it should, on behalf of the government and people of Uganda, the Uganda High Commission, United Kingdom and Ireland, and indeed on my own behalf, I once again take this opportunity to thank you all for coming this evening, sparing the whole afternoon and evening to come and celebrate with us. Some of you were even at the church, and we thank the Reverend at the church. We invited them, but they were busy. We thank them, that was a beautiful service. Thank you, we thank them very much. So some of you were at the church, but spending a whole afternoon in the UK and evening, you must love Uganda. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. And for my colleagues, my, the, the, their excellencies, I really, really thank you for the support. We are in the same port, so to say, the same region. Uganda being land-linked, not land-locked, land-linked. In terms of Uganda, investors and prospective investors, I say thank you very much and continue loving the power of Africa. I think at this juncture, I would like to propose a toast. Long live President Joel Kabuta Museveni. Long live the diaspora. Long live friends of Uganda. Put your hands up in the air. Long live East African community. Put your hands up in the air. For God and my country, I thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, hello everyone. This is Jo Nganda. I'm here today at the Uganda High Commission in London. We've just come back from the um, church service to celebrate the 54th Ugandan Independence Anniversary at Westminster Abbey. We're now at the reception at the High Commission. And I've got two interesting Ugandans that I've met over the night. And um, what's your name, sir? Antonio. Antonio. Okay, so this is Antonio and you I'm, are? I'm Shakira Noor. Shakira. Okay, these are Ugandans, uh, but if you don't know, they are born in Uganda. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about Uganda and how you are involved in Uganda and where you come from? I was born in Uganda in East Africa many years ago. Okay. But uh, one of the greatest things for me is that uh, you know, for us, Uganda was everything. Yeah. Unfortunately, we had to leave the country many years ago. Okay. But that didn't make a difference. We still kept to our roots, yeah. and to our culture. Yes. And uh, all the, many of the Indians who left uh, Uganda 40 years ago still treat this as their country. One of the biggest highlights I had this evening yes. uh, when I came to the 54th anniversary celebration. Yes. To me, I think it's first of all, congratulations. It's fantastic that we are 54 years 
of independence. Congratulations, yes. Uganda. Thank you. And it's a beautiful celebration. Okay. But one of the greatest things was when I was walking around and I was speaking to some of the, of the guests, some of the guests who yeah. come from East Africa was, you know, we have three young students who are, who are studying at the London School of Economics. Okay. And we have one who is who's studying at Oxford. Oh, wow. Amazing. A lot of African countries are experiencing drought. So he's just um, said at least 98% is green, and you, which means we all have opportunities to plant something in Uganda. And green can be whichever way you want, but like I understand, it's a land of opportunities. Thank you so much, Antonio. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with Ugandan Vision, and um, I'll turn to our next guest tonight at the High Commission in London, Shakira. What is it that brings you here and what is it that you do that involves you, you know, Uganda? How, how are you experiencing Uganda? Hello, my name is Shakila Noor and I'm a Ugandan by birth. My father was an Asian, but we live in Uganda. I live in the UK, I'm married and uh, I'm a foster carer. I work for the community, I work for Martin Council, I work for adoption and uh, uh, fostering, I'm in the association team, I do look after children. I love it. So I've met Shakira tonight, earlier on in the evening, as she was coming in, we got talking and she actually did say to me, by the way, I'm Ugandan. And I was like, I know, because I've actually seen her services before. She's a foster carer, she's proudly Ugandan. She's here in London tonight celebrating with us. And I'll ask you tonight, what did you take? I know the High Commissioner has talked about like the services and our president, Mr. Kaguta, Yoweri Museveni, and his vision. So, what have you taken from the High Commissioner's speech tonight? What message can we give to Ugandans? Well, it's a mouth culture. Uganda is a mouth culture country. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. We all get together. Asian, we all get together and we do things together. There's no discrimination. We are all Ugandans. Today we'll be all invited and we are all celebrating the 50th, 4th, anniversary of Uganda. I'm happy to be part of it. Thank you so much Shakira. Thank you Antonio. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been watching Ugandan Vision and we're about to go back downstairs because the party is just getting started. But as we, you know, we've, we've heard from our guests tonight, Uganda is a land of opportunity. We're all Ugandans. Let's celebrate Uganda. Doesn't matter what Everyone's happy to be here. I've been your host, Joe Nganda. One night okay. together, yeah. Hi, Martin. So, can you tell us a little bit about the celebrations today? What brings you here? Yeah, it was a wonderful celebration today, and I, I really appreciate it. Mm. Though it was my, it's the second time I came here for the Uganda 54th anniversary In, mm -hmm. of the independence. Yes. It was a wonderful day. So, you enjoyed it? So Can much. you tell us a little bit about where do you come from? From Uganda, I assume you're Ugandan. Yes. So where do you come from? Uh, from Ugandan, and what uh, what are you proud of? Because this is our 54th anniversary. What's your you know proudest moment for Ugandans to celebrate? Yeah, you know I'm very proud to be Ugandan. I'm from northern Uganda. I'm an Acholi in by a tribe. You know, so I'm very proud of Uganda being a fertile land. And it's a part of Africa. Okay. I'm very proud of that. Thank you. So he's proud to be Ugandan. He's from Acholi and he's here with us today at the Uganda High Commission celebrating the 54th Ugandan independence. Thank you, Martin. Thank you so much. Thank you. And as I remember, you are called Fiona. Fiona. What's your second name? Kanyarue. Fiona Kanyarue. Are you Ugandan? Yeah, I'm Ugandan. I am. From, I'm born in Kavale, Western okay. Uganda. Yes. And uh, yeah, I studied at Makerere University and now I'm here at the London School of Economics. Yeah. Thank you, Fiona. As you remember, one of our earlier guests was telling us, Antonio was telling us she's met uh, amazing students and one of them, I believe, is Fiona because he did give it away. She's from the London School of Economics and she is also a Makerere student graduate. So I want to ask you a little bit about tonight. Why are you here and what have you found useful or important? What have you taken from tonight? Can you give us a little bit of why you're excited to celebrate the 54th Ugandan Independence? Uh, I'm so proud uh, to be Ugandan. Yes. Um, I 
especially tonight now that I'm in the UK but I've been able to meet fellow Ugandan yes and I, I didn't expect to meet such amazing people okay. uh, these are the people you meet outside and you don't know they are Ugandans like you oh yeah so <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm so privileged to be Ugandan yes. and to be part of uh, a of, part of, of the celebration. Yes. Thank you so much, Fiona. So can I ask you, what did you take from the um, High Commissioner's speech? Because I know it's been a very powerful speech, and I know he's, you know, she's encouraged us to proudly represent the country and like the visions of the, you know, our government and our president back home. So what have you taken from her speech tonight? Uh, what I took from the, the uh, ambassador's speech uh, uh, was the, the, the commitment uh, that we need to have towards, uh, towards achieving the Uganda 2040 uh, vision. I think I wanted to highlight, she said a very important thing here. She's happy, she's a student here, you know, she's coming to complete her studies in economics, but she's very happy to be amongst Ugandans with the same vision and, you know, just happy to see like-minded people today celebrating a love for their country, a love for what they do. And we're very happy to have you here. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So and and what's your last thoughts as you as you leave us tonight? What's your last thought? Um, uh, I think uh, Ugandans we need to come together and work so hard and work as one to uh, to, to 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 achieve the goals that Uganda has set to achieve, yes. especially the the 2040 vision and and and, and the the five year uh, uh, plans. Yeah. I like that a lot and now since you're an economic student maybe you're gonna be one of us you never know next year or in a few years you're coming back to here you know maybe to tell us about the 2040 vision yeah so yeah. thank you so much you've been here with Uganda vision thank you thank you Fiona right. I have a lady who's been supporting and done all the hard work amongst her, with her team of course um, but like you know she works here at the high commission i'll let her say a little bit about you know what it takes to put on such an amazing fulfilling event so first of all can you tell us about yourself what's your name my, my name is margaret Bache. margaret Bache and margaret Bache works here at the high commission can you tell us about your role here and your involvement what your role was in putting together the 54th celebrations of the Uganda independence actually it was just like uh, all all the staff everyone you know just like getting hand we worked all together put this event in in the place wasn't easy but you know yes. godly help we did everything and uh, here at the Uganda High Commission I work as an office assistant and as well working in the passport room so um, we thank God to be in this place Margaret is being very time. generous and very yeah. polite with her speech and comments and but I'll tell you now what is downstairs I've never seen and I've been coming to the Ugandan High Commission for so many years so I'd just like to commend you and her team and actually can I just point out that as we speak um, everyone who has been involved in this um, ceremony who has you know contributed in some way or another has not I've not heard one single person say oh, I did this I did this so they're all part of a strong team here yes. at the Ugandan High Commission supporting our you know High Commissioner the Ambassador Professor Joyce so you know we're very proud like you guys continue to serve us and continue to you know um, uplift Ugandans and this is probably one of the best I've seen so far and keep up the good Good work okay. and, and thank you. <laughs> the Executive Director of Uganda Communications Commission. I think I would request my colleague, Mr. Gumba, because I feel humbled, let him invite him for us so that he can make a word or two. I also take a glass of water. <laughs> Never mind, I'll invite others. Thank you very much, uh, MC. Um, I'm not going to waste much time, but I would request uh, Mr. Godfrey Mutabaza Deni, please come and address the audience. I was last year, about 30 years ago, in the same room, having a part when I was still a student here. Now, uh, 
I'm so grateful that I'm back uh, to be with you to celebrate this occasion. Uh, this morning, I just passed by. I'd see my friend Kova, Godfrey, who used to be with me again some time back. And then he showed me a window outside. And uh, he wondered why it is still analog. He said, why don't you digitalize it? And I said, that's our pleasure to transform that window. We shall do it as a Uganda Communications Commission. Wow. Uh, to any standards of your choice. Once we get any correspondence to this effect, we shall start the process. Now, briefly, Uganda Communications Commission, those who don't know Uganda Communications Commission, is the Ofcom of Uganda. You know, our population is about 37 million, but 50% is at the age of 15 or below. And when you calibrate the tele density or penetration, we are actually 100%. That means that almost every Ugandan is on the line now. And also, uh, our friends in Kenya know this, we work with Mr. Wangusi, who's my colleague there. But Uganda Communications Commission, in the whole of Africa, is the only organization that uh, equips government secondary school with computer laboratories. And we have covered 1,200 government aided secondary schools with laboratories, computer laboratories. And now, for investors, we're going to open up the 4G spectrum or 3G plus, that's 4G, 5G with the digital dividend. So those who want to start high speed internet are most welcome. Next year we shall be auctioning the, the 700 band. You know, you know those who know. Okay. So, so whoever wants to invest, invest in Uganda is most welcome. By the way, Uganda is the only country where you can walk in and get a radio station license, TV station license. We don't have bureaucracies. Even you can start a telecom company by walking in. If you have money, you pay and off you go. So you can see we are very, very liberated in Uganda when it comes to communication services. So ladies and gentlemen, make sure that when you have investors in the telecommunication industry, you come to Uganda because it's simply the best. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.